bring about the feeding uh, versus the growing economy. Comparative study between Egypt and Japan on the effect of innovation and financial inclusion. My agenda will, uh, be, will contain introduction, theoretical review, empirical review, research design and analysis, methodology, limitation, conclusion. Introduction. Um, Egypt and Japan, uh, they uh, differ a lot in uh, geographic uh, perspective. Japan is totally an island, isolated. You can only reach it by planes or by ships. So it uh, it has like its natural defenses against uh, their enemies. Unlike Egypt, you can enter Egypt through uh, many different places. So it's uh, it make uh, Egypt more vulnerable to the attacks. And today uh, we will talk about innovation for financial inclusion and how it differs from the two countries according to their history and their geographic uh, area. Financial inclusion. Financial inclusion um, is like the next level of finance. We, we uh, the last period or the last decade, we uh, just ended and now it's a trend of electronic finance. And financial inclusion is the meaning of it. Like, you can use all your transactions, make uh, make easier, um, uh, make easier, uh, 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 um, make easier pay payments. Um, have more personalized data. Have your own IDs uh, with more ease. Uh, it helps the government know what you are doing and whether it's legal or not, and provide the government with uh, the tax and. Um, like it stops all the untaxed cash uh, methods. Okay. After World War Two, it shaped our uh, society right now. The, the situation of Egypt and Japan is uh, is very different in this period. Egypt was actually in a very good state, like the uh, in the King's period. Uh, it, our economy was flourished, and the Britain uh, lived a good impact. While Japan ended World War II was total annihilation; it dis uh, destroyed totally, and they had to start from scratch. Unlike us, and here we will talk about our three heroes today. Gamal Abdel Nasser, the Emperor Harahito, and the American General MacArthur. Harahito was like a god for the Japanese. They worshiped him completely. And when the US Army invaded Japan after the war, instead of making the country democracy um, after the invasion, they uh, leave the, the, um, uh, the emperor uh, to stop any civil war. And then the country transitioned to a democratic country smoothly. While Gamal Abdel Nasser Make, uh, made the exact opposite. He made he made the country uh, socialist, and uh, uh, he focused on military more. While in this part, here's a question: either giving up military for innovation or giving up innovation for safety. You know, Nasser had only one choice because he had many enemies and just escaped the war and made uh, a revolution. So he had to defend his country from the fear of Israel and fear of the other invaders. So he focused all the resources of the country for safety. While in Japan, they made another different thing. Uh, if we remember the, the, uh, the geographic place of Japan, it's very hard to invade Japan. So what they made, they made the US Army to send their navy and their uh, Air defending forces just to protect the country while they will have no uh, military themselves, only the protection of the US army. Theoretical review. Um, I'll have three theories. First theory uh, Bruce Martin Roussel, uh, he took his inspiration from Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant, in his book uh, Perpetual Peace, said that. The, democ uh, the democratic country will not attack each other. They will maintain peace 
until all the uh, communist countries disappear. And then this sense, Bruce Russell said that if Immanuel Kant uh, words were true, country like Japan will never need a military and will never make expenses for their military. And this will make uh, the other industries flourish. Unlike Egypt, we spend like half of our uh, resources on military. So um, they are opposite. Egypt jumped to the ninth top uh, global military, uh, militaries, while Japan is like zero. It has nothing. Second theory, Thomas Mathaus started with the theory of population. Uh, the state of population that Matt House said that the growing population uh, there cannot be no, uh, there must be war to contain the, uh, the population as the people will uh, the number of people will increase so they need uh, the food will uh, will not be enough for them so they need war and at least decrease their population but on the other hand Easter Postrop said that as long as the population increases, there is more workforce, so the agriculture can flourish and we can provide them with uh, with food. Which theory do you prefer? Uh, Which theory do you think are wrong. Both are wrong. Both are wrong. Both yeah. are wrong. Why? Uh, in Japan, I know that the people are growing, but the amount of people who are growing in Japan is فلازم الموضوع يبقى بالانسد ما ينفعش ان احنا نسيب واحده فيهم تكمل تمام. So one of them is not maintaining one of them. So you, you think that the innovation can solve the problem of maintaining theory? No. No. Okay, next slide. And I think Mount uh, theory was the best. Okay. تالت حاجه جوزيف. I'm the coaching yes. جوزيف سان بيتر. His name is very hard. <laughs> Has a theory uh, uh, that said every business uh, innovation helps every business and opens a new field, and it's the main uh, uh, the main thing for country to develop and to uh, and to maintain their economic growth, and it makes everything in country easier and leads to prosperity. Becker review part one, Japan. Work site fintech. Japan fintech market site increased massively from 2017 to, uh, to 2021 and 2022. Uh, it's expected to increase a lot higher because Japan has the plan to be the financial hub of all Asia. Well, it uh, appears more in this uh, in this graph as the all Asian countries like here and Japan exceed them massively. And here's the statistic for which country are the higher in R&D and innovation, Japan is ranked third. So from all of that, we conclude Japan spends a lot on fintech and innovation. That may be negative somehow, according to Japan, because Japan has one of the highest debt rates. Uh, these are some uh, fintech companies. Japan has 90, 89 of them. هنا بتبان المشكلة بتاعت الفنتك. فيوتشر تشالنج. الفيوتشر تشالنج لا هو تشالنج دلوقتي. كرين تشالنج. دلوقتي اليوان قيمته الين سوري قيمته بتقل نفس الوقت البرشيزنج باور بتاعته في اليابان بتزيد فده بالتالي سبب حاجة اسمها ديفليشن ان دلوقتي ان الحكومة البنك المركزي مش عارف يوازن. And its interference is not enough because it's only trying to manage the deflation and cannot uh, contain the other thing. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> For what, what about a week? Yes, it's okay. This is right here. 1950. Japan. <laughs> 40% منه فوق ال 60. So the, the, the scale is completely different. 
in the in the cash businesses uh, and all the other regular benefits of the fintech uh, like security, uh, easy lending, reduced latency, and all the other things. Uh, this is done. Made the machines. Okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, the bank has a very high uh, amount of uh, ATMs. As like in every convenience store, they at least have one. Okay. Uh, while Egypt is still growing in this department. GDP growth, uh, as you can see here, Egypt has a very good uh, growth over the past few years, while Japan is actually having one of its worst time in history because the, uh, the great uh, stagnation and it's increasing uh, massively and uh, soon enough it will be by now. This is all the uh, deal equation, x1, to make teller machines, x2, domestic uh, credit to private sector, uh, x3, the gross domestic saving of our region, or r2, 3.63. Like in the land, and I put on dinner, and the ATMs, uh, x1, uh, domestic credit, not the high end, x2, while the gross domestic saving, x3, or r2, 0.83. Uh, FinTech opportunities and challenges, opportunities, Okay. Uh, it can uh, help the companies very much, but the main challenge is if you invested heavily and, and neglected all the other things and focused so hard on innovation, it can destroy your country. It's not like uh, a stable thing. You must balance and see the state of your country and the population and maintain all the other uh, reasons. Conclusion, Japan and Egypt. Uh, Japan had a lower potential to growth, while Egypt had a great potential. But Egypt uh, chose in the past few centuries, uh, centuries to focus on military, and it was like the right decision because safety came first. While Japan, uh, with the US help, uh, focused more in innovation and in tech. Yeah, references. Oh. Cool.